Hello there, this is DBT and this is Art of Rooms. And all right, let's play some more Asphalt 8. And today I'm gonna be testing finally the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, the regular version of the Rabbit Edition because I don't own that one. Now the normal one in class B. Oh yeah, baby. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Porsche, I've never been, but this one with the big wing, I really like it. And I also learned to appreciate this car, kind of, it's kind of the same car from Asphalt 9. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna test it over here. I'm gonna do it in multiplayer, classic season. Don't pay attention to when I'm recording this, it's probably gonna come out at some point much later in the future. Because uh, this is one of those videos that I have in the back, just in case I need to upload something and I don't have anything to work with. So, you know how we're gonna do? We're gonna do some uh, multiplayer races in classic season so that we get matched against its natural competition in the bracket. And I'm gonna do consecutive races, sequential races, there you go. Uh, you can see my current counter of races over here and you'll see how they progress so that you know that I'm not skipping any races and you get to see whatever happens, be it good, be it bad, you'll see it all. Let's go. Now, I was checking who was joining this race and there is something that I, I need to talk about in terms of this car and this bracket in particular. I'm talking about obviously the bracket of 1590 Class B. And this bracket is very peculiar because um, a lot of the times, a lot of the times you're going to be encountering people running with very, very bad cars that happen to be at stock. Um, and that is because some... Oh, Jesus Christ. Some of these cars, like the that one, the Nano Flow, Cell, Quant, whatever, um, it at its stock rank happens to fall in this bracket. Actually, there's a bunch of cars that fall into this bracket at stock. And because that is a car that you can just buy for credits, it's a car that a lot of people are going to have. Because, oh, I got a decent car for credits, and they jump into multiplayer, and guess what? They're going to be matched against people like me or certain other people who like to get a, dub, a bunch of W's and, you know, claim world records and all of that. Either way, um, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it's not really competition, so I don't really think this is going to work all that great to, to see how is the performance of this car. Because look at that, I'm barely trying, I'm barely paying attention to what's happening, and I'm already so far ahead of everybody. Um, I don't even know if they're boosted or not, but yeah, that is a very, a very unfortunate situation with this bracket. And I think that is something that probably Gameloft could or should fix um, to make sure that this type of cars don't... It's I don't know. I don't know exactly what to suggest. It's The problem is having those cars that are four credits that are going to land in this bracket. So there's a lot of cars or a bunch of cars that are going to fall like that. Look at that. All these people completely unboosted with cars that are pretty much at stock. Of course I was going to win it. I'm triple boosted and I have a higher rank. So, yeah, I don't know that I can take pride on getting Ws from this, to be honest. Now, having said all of that... Oh, I think this guy is it's on a car that doesn't have a roof. That's what I've noticed. Whenever the avatar looks that ugly, it's because they're running on a car without a roof. It renders differently. Anyway, having said all of that, this is not to say that you're never going to find some competition. You will from time to time. Like over here, I think I saw two people with uh, 1590 ranked cars. So this might be a bit a, a bit better competition overall. But yeah, it, it, it seems to be the case where you're going to end up finding a bunch of people that are going to be running with cars at stock. Get out of the way, buddy. Jesus Christ. I, I was purposely trying to not knock him down, but oh well. Um, oh, that's that's the guy. The guy in first place is the one that is driving the um, a roofless car, isn't it? I think, is that a Monza? No, that's a Speedster. That's an Aston Martin Speedster and I run out of Nitro. That's not good. Wait a second, is the Speedster in this bracket? I don't even know. Now, I'm catching up to this guy pretty damn quick. Which side are you going, buddy? Um, I'm catching up to this guy pretty damn quick, so I don't know if he's on booster or what's going on. But he seems to be driving very, very erratically. And I'm afraid that that's, I'm going to end up being the one that pays the price for that. I'm going to take this route because this is a route that not a lot of people go into. So it's relatively safe to avoid a knockdown. Now, the guy's still ahead of me, so he might still beat me. Unless, unless... Okay, first place. All right, that got a little fishy. That guy was driving very, very erratically, but okay, there we go. Um, yeah, okay, so, yeah, he has the car. Uh, is this in this bracket, or is this MP2? I guess it's in this bracket, right? It's just that you don't see this car very often, no, but there you go. Uh, there was another one with the Bentley Continental Super Sport, but apparently he did terrible, so, yeah. All right, let's do another race and see, see what we get this time. 
Now, if I get enough competition with cars in the same rank, I'm gonna consider this a pro test of this car. You know, those videos that I make testing the car at pro rank. But if I keep on getting people that are going unboosted or with stock cars, I'm gonna name this video something like Stomping on Newbies or something like that, just to bring attention to the fact that this bracket is so compared to the newbies, because man, I mean, to be fair, if you're a newbie and you're running with a stock car, you don't really know yet that that car's probably gonna do terrible, you're going with that booster, so it's a bit of your fault as a newbie, but at the same time, you don't know better, so can I really blame the newbies? I don't know. Uh, it's a tough situation. I know for, for a fact that when I was a newbie and I started jumping into multiplayer, I did not know anything about ranks or anything granted there wasn't a bracket system back back then but even then i mean i was still like oh yeah this car has a higher rank so it probably performs better it turns out that it was still uh, uh yeah higher rank car but it's still a, a stock car right so it was gonna do terrible so i'm not trying to judge the newbies for that but man i just feel like it's such a stomping ground for the newbies over here this bracket that it just feels so unfun i was honestly thinking if indeed I don't get enough competition, like this guy probably is going to beat me, that's fine. So that's going to be one opponent. But I would rather see how this car performs against its natural competition, against cars that are in this bracket. But again, because there's so many players that are in the newbie, um, let's say the newbie ranks, going with their ca cars at stock, well, how, how am I supposed to say, yeah, this car performs great against its competition? Well, yeah, obviously. So maybe if I, if I don't get enough competition, I'm thinking of how I can do this differently to make it a bit more interesting where I don't get decent results all the time. Because look at that, it's still a second place. All things considered, it's still top three. So that ain't bad. Um, the guy did beat me, so there's that. Um, but yeah, look at that. The Zonda that is on class A, these two cars barely boosted. Well, I mean, they're running two boost, but bad cars. So how's that gonna work? Two GTA span, the same situation. And I think that those two cars are precisely um, credit cars, so that's why you see people running with those cars. Holy moly, I counted three of those Nano Flow whatever, those cars at stock. Three in this race. See what I'm saying? And funny thing, because those players are already in the next league, the, what is it called? Champion League, the one for Class A. So I wonder if they have been climbing the rank with that car. I have no idea if that's even doable, but man overall I, I i just don't like how these cars both of those cars end up falling in this place you know in this in this rank or this bracket rather um so yeah uh, the, the way to maybe fix it would be to to make at least one of those cars to fall even at stock in a different bracket you know but oh well that's probably not gonna get fixed but i was thinking that maybe to make things a bit more interesting eventually um to make a proper protest of this car or any or any car of this bracket jesus that car accelerates so damn quick huh um maybe what i will do is bring the rumors all of the people that join me well whoever can uh in the friday room to players bring them into one of these videos so to race them with cars because i know they have cars in this bracket so that basically i get to race this car or like i said any car in this bracket against what would be its natural competition now the problem is that the rumors are much more skilled than i am so you're gonna see l after l that is kind of expected but you know it's fine you can't win them all wait what holy moly did i just steal that first place i think he messed up a little bit at the end how did i pull that off Look at that, I finished but with what? What is that? 60 something milliseconds? Holy macaronis! I'll take it! Alright, W. Maybe the rest of the races weren't super great or anything, but that was that was fun. So at the very least, I am having some competition with this guy running the Bentley. Is that a really good car? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, other than that, all of the the poor uh, um, boosted newbies man they're suffering look at that guy just well to be fair i did go on a little bit of a long route for that starting section so there is that all right don't mess it up dbt you have messed it up in this place before if you watch my video on the bugatti vision you know that i had a little bit of a noopsie in this particular section in that particular section where i said that i messed it up so i am trying to keep my cool over here and see if i can do all right Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Oh god. I thought it was gonna do a half half a barrel roll. I'd rather no barrel roll than half barrel roll, you know? Yeah, this this guy is absolutely destroying me. Well I did beat him in the last race, but that's because he messed up. But overall, I'm willing to say that whatever he's driving, that Bentley seems to be considerably more powerful than my Porsche. But again, I'm not learning anything about how this car performs, really. Other than that car is accelerating better than I am. That's that's all I'm learning. But in terms of seeing variety of other cars... Ah! <laughs> oh my! I'm still gonna take it somehow! <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> I mean, W again, what did I say, huh? Always trusted myself. <laughs> oh, man, he just, he literally just break checked me. <laughs> lovely, lovely. I, I appreciate his sense of humor. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're enjoying this video, you better be hitting that like button. All right. I've told you before, I need to know if you're enjoying this. And for that, that button is great. That's exactly what it's there for. So let me know that you're liking something. That's why it's called the like button, you know? Just explaining some for the for the chess moves over here. Look at that acceleration. I was triple tapping and he just out accelerated me like there was no tomorrow. What is that? Jesus Christ. Anyway. So yeah, overall what I was saying remains true. I don't know. I'm not learning anything about my car. Um, because there's no other opposition other than this guy that at this point it seems that we're memeing, so... <laughs> um, yeah, it's a... Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, again, uh, it's a strange situation. So yeah, this is gonna be the, the video of the stomping of newbies, even though this guy's stomping me, so... I guess I am calling myself a newbie over here, but you know what I mean. It's all good. Is it gonna break check me again? Is it gonna break check me? Come on. I wanna see if, if he's gonna try something funky or not. No, this time he seems to be just going for the straight. Look at that. I mean, that that's going so fast. So, 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 so fast. What is that? I mean, we just read it, right? Is the event thing. Where, where did my music go? Is my music not even playing? Did we just do a full race without music? Okay. Um, yeah, that Bentley Continental Super Sport. I, I don't know. I have to check because I don't even know um, where does that car belong. But how about we change the color of my car? Yes. Let's do that. Might as well. All right, so the beauty about this car is that it does have a bunch of color options. Check this out. Uh, the original color, the main color, is supposed it's white. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I learned to appreciate this car thanks to Asphalt 9 because I got to drive this. Um, I have this one. And technically, I think it's a model of a, a year or a couple years later. I don't know. Um, and it's an amazing car in that game. So I thought, hey, let's drive it over here. And again, the Porsche with the big wing, it's great. And speaking of, um, if you want a heart and a pin, Type the following comment, Porsche and a big wing, what else could you ask for? The first person to leave that is going to get a heart and a pin. Anybody else that writes it afterwards is also going to get a heart. Not another pin because you can do only one pin. But anyway, um, so yeah, I appreciated this car because of the big wing and all of that stuff. Um, and this is the original color in Asphalt 9, so that's why I had it running on green. We also have it on black, we have it on blue, we have it in orangey, which actually looks brown over here. And um, we got it yellow, red, and gray silverish it's kind of silverish because it's very reflective so i'm willing to say it's silverish but i like it in orange so how about we run in an orange porsche 911 gt3 rs oh yeah baby i'm not even kidding there's this guy with the op car and literally all of these are nano flow cell quant fake at stock i'm telling you other than this guy and i that we're just competing against each other and he's beating me for the most part um, what else is there to race against? Again, a bunch of cars that stuck. Oh man, and that is why this video, I have decided now, that it's gonna be called the the Newbie Stomping Ground, or something like that, I, I'll figure it out. It's, it's gonna indicate that it's a stomping ground for newbies, but I'll figure out the exact wording. And I just noticed that there was no... Look at that acceleration, holy moly. There was nobody driving my car, did you see it? The, the windshield was clear enough where I could clearly see the driver's seat and I saw nobody over there, so what's up with that? Now, to be completely honest, you know how they added the where you can now see the, the your avatar driving a car that has an open top um, with whatever outfit you have in your avatar? Um, 
some people were like, they should do that also for all the cars that are close. But honestly, they just wouldn't fit. Like, literally, those avatars are ginormous. And, yeah, that wouldn't quite work. Oh, this guy's lagging now. Um, so, yeah, imagine my, my avatar with the big horns. They would be literally poking out of the top of the of this car. It would not work. So, I understand that they didn't do it. Um, you know what? Actually, Need for Speed Unbound did a thing. Where you can do, you can see your your avatar. Does they, it there? You don't have crazy outfits like in here. But for example, when you have an avatar with an afro, so that the afro doesn't clip out of the car. Oh, he let me pass, or he was trying to brake check me. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, what they do in that game is that they put a cap on your avatar so that it holds down a little bit the afro so that it doesn't clip out. It's kind of a funny situation, so I guess what they could do over here is that whenever you have a very, very big... Look at that, there's nobody inside. Uh, a very big um, helmet, they just don't have that helmet. They render a different helmet, and I think that would work. But look at that! Five of these cars! Five! It's ridiculous. Oh, it seems that the, the this guy driving the Bentley is no longer racing. I'm not finding him again. And now I only see, um, again... The same car, I think it's the same for all of the racers, so that it's a bit unfortunate. So I have a bit of a plan for this race. Because um, again, there comes a point, you know, as I was saying, I get absolutely no pride, no joy from beating players with bad cars, unboosted, stock, barely upgraded. There's no joy for me to, to have with it. Oh, it was snowing over there. I, I, I Has it always been snowing over there? I wasn't even sure. Okay, okay, sure. So yeah, do, doing this, look at that. Just how quickly I am just passing them. And it's not like I can cancel my boosters. My boosters have been already running. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to win this race against those poor people with the terrible, terrible cars. To be fair, uh, if I wasn't playing right now, they would be just fighting each other. So it would be a bit of a more fair fight. So maybe, maybe the cancer, it's me. Maybe I am the problem. No, I do think that they should vary somehow. I don't know. There should be some way so that the credit cards that are the easiest one for new players to acquire at stock don't fall in this bracket alone. Because, man, it's just wrong, you know? It, it ain't right, man. Let me tell you, it ain't right. It sure isn't. How close am I to the... Is this the version of the track that finishes before or after the cape? No, it's before, before, before. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a little bit of a detour over here. Look at this area. I think if I touch that wall from over here, I actually get teleported. Is that right? I think so. Let's see. No. Okay. There are some walls like that. When you touch them from a side where you should not be touching them, um, they teleport you. This is not one of them. But that's all right. And just like that, these guys have finished the race and I'm going to finish in fourth place. And that is okay, because I have a ton of points and they seem to be needing it to get out of this hellhole that they're, they find themselves at. So I lose 20 points, but in exchange, this person gained 55, 37, and six points to this guy that really didn't need it. He's already in a different bracket, but look at that! Unboosted 55 points, buddy. You're only 30, no, 23 points away from reaching a new, a new bracket, so... If I can, I will help. And I can bring this whole thing about the newbies and stomping and all of that because there's some people that love racing in this particular bracket just because it's easy W. I mean, not to... All right, all right. I think you guys know who I am talking about. If you don't, then don't worry. Pay no, pay no attention to me, but... Um, I don't know, it just, just feels wrong, man. It just feels wrong, what they say? Maybe it has to do with the fact that I've worked in some other games where... Um, like, I was working in this game for several years. Uh, this mod of a game, but it got its own competitive community. It was a first-person shooter, and it is, because it's still alive. I still stream it from time to time, but anyway. Um, and over there, I got to see a lot of the struggles of the newbies and how people with a lot of experience would just jump in to stomp on the movies and it's like but why would you do that what are you getting from that other than <laughs> i'm killing everybody you know 
It's terrible. What's the point in that? You're, you're, you're not even showing your prowess. Show your prowess against people who can who can fight you, you know? So it's kind of the same thing over here as to why I find this so absolutely unfair for all of these poor people. Like I said, in a way, they also they also have to learn that the stock cars are is not the answer in this game. But I wish... I don't think there's anywhere in the game that it's very clear on that fact that I would love there was a pop-up. When you're going to join a race, if, you have, if you're running a stock car, I wish a pop-up would appear and say, cars without upgrades tend to perform poorly in multiplayer. Uh, make sure to upgrade your car before you, you jump in them. I don't know, some, some sort of disclaimer like that so that uh, people understand from the get that they, they're signing up for a terrible, terrible experience. Oh man, he's only six points away. Well, all things considered. Oh, look at that. This this one. No, wait a second. He was already over there. Never mind. It's okay. It's all... These two people are about to do. All right. We can do one more race. One more race. Come on. Well, unfortunate, I could not find them again. I think they just straight up uh, quit from the lobby. Unfortunate, I wanted to give them some more points, but okay, it is what it is. I tried, I gave them some points. It's all right, I'm no saint. I've knocked down a couple of them before, so I feel sad, sad for them. It's okay, it's okay. But anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave it. I wanna redo a, uh, a test of this car, probably with the rumors, so that you get to see how this car compares to other cars around the same bracket and probably with people that are much more skilled than I am. So I'm gonna lose a lot. But well, that's gonna do it again for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Why don't you check this video of all the Porsches in Asphalt 8 before the Rabbit Edition was added? Just, just FYI. Or maybe this other video about the Horizon Chase. What a great and underappreciated mobile game it is. But well, that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye bye.